Well, you've had your lot. You're not having any more. Guts. <laughs> so, in the mornings, I just call the ewes up with a loaf of bread, and because of that, they'll come. And they bring the lambs with them, and it gives the lambs time to find the creep feeder. Because that's where I want them. I want their heads in there, because the more of that they eat, the less, less pressure they have on the ewes, the quicker everything recovers, grows, matures. Grows. What? You had it. You're not having any more. Just remember, you volunteered this. Ow! Free haircut. I did not say it was free. Well, no, but I think I got what I paid for. No. Besides, I ate sheep. Someone just realised they were by themselves. <laughs> the brakes don't work. We've got some um, unsavoury weather coming in next week. So I said to the guys, although we have always got the option if we have to, to bring them back in, I don't want to do that. Um, so the old trampoline, if the guys get back from their job early enough, I think we're going to get the old trampoline on the back of the truck and we'll take it down the bottom, which is where they spend most of the nights. And it just gives lambs a bit more shelter, you know, out of the cold and the wet. So it's not waterproof. But it helps. And the way I look at it, it's an old trampoline. It's got very little use as far as kids play thing, but for them for shelter, I reckon. A neighbour called me yesterday to let me know that um, he's coming today to spread our 2010-10. Uh, probably not ideal because it's about, about to go cold. So the grass has woke up in the last two days because it's been warm. We're going to put some 2010 10 on um, and it's going to go cold. So we'll see. There's even a threat of snow next week. But then the way I look at it, a bit of snow, if I've got the granular uh, fertilizer on, the snow will actually just dissolve it gently into the ground once the snow melts. And if we get a bit of sunshine after that, it might actually be just right. You've had yours as well. Well, anybody who think I never fed you lot? Yeah, all right, all right. No action in there again. I better take that up because I left that there last night. And I'll fill it up for you this morning, so... Yeah. I want to put them outside. Um, Abby wants to keep them in. I want to put them out because the thing is... The lambs are only getting this and what they can get out of mother. Um, the way I look at it is they're better off outside because they'll get this, the little bit of weather, and some grass, and they can also get to the creep. But it's going to be cold. Another reason for putting in the trampoline. So, right, I've got to wash this out and fill it up again. You can have a bit in a minute, but you're getting some tips, so... So exciting. Go on, bit of first up to green. make him happy. Right, I need to open the gate the other end now, because I always love lambs trapped in here. No, you've had yours. No more. Nope. Right, that's all the gates opened, so the fertilizer spinner does not have to get out of the cab of his machine once. 
well, once to open the main gate in. But other than that, he's got a free room with the whole farm. And I a nice chap. Morning, Roger. How are you, mate? I haven't got any, mate. I haven't got any. Sorry. No, I haven't got any. They give it all to the girls. I'm sorry. Sorry, mate. Ah, told you about that. Behave. Tinker. Uh, yeah, when he's being playful, you don't really take your eye off him. Because the half a second of galloping you hear before the impact, it's too late. Shut up, you. Well, my furlough's are going on. Bit of good news. I got a bit of good news for somebody else too. Well, actually, I got a bit of good news for lots of things. And they've all got feathers. It's April the first, and it's not a joke. They can be let out. Here, boys and girls, grass. You can have grass. The geese will be particularly happy about being laid out on the grass again. Particularly because that's just a mud bath in there. back from visiting mother and there's some interesting activity going on up here what are you trying to do is this Martin being ingenious try it it's got two chances. We've got to do the steady, mate. Yeah. yeah. Steady as you go. <laughs> okay. Right.
No, I'll tell you what was happening with the last one. I was, I was pulling it, and I was pulling you as well. You were just coming with me. Instead of, instead of pulling your weight... Me and Martin, we were just like, ah, it was done. Yeah, because I did most of it. <laughs> Tickle that. <laughs> yeah, they can get under that, can't they? Yeah. I bet you see them up on there as well. Yeah, you see a bunch of it later. Um, if Abby has her way, she should have a bail down here so they can get up on there. The thing is, I'm worried about something breaking its blinking legs in there if yeah, it gets yeah. on there. Missing a... Oh, springs, yeah. Yeah, there's a few springs gone, but no one's going to be bouncing on it. No, no of any, no of any yeah. sense is going to bounce on that anyway. So, okay. Well, that's one lamb shelter. Recycling. It is recycling. <laughs> They're recycling down badly. A cowboy builder. I've got some good news. Really good news. Wolf is back. I've got my Defender back again, so um, so replacement engine. Uh, I can't, I don't can't say too much because I don't know an awful lot about it. Um, the engine that's gone back in here had 20,000 miles less on the clock than what was in here. Um, so the vehicle I got is showing 85,000 miles. The vehicle's done that, but the engine's only done 65 apparently. Uh, same 2.4 lump, and as far as I can see, it drives exactly the same. So. It definitely goes. Uh, as far as the cost was concerned, it was as anticipated. Um, it was uh, just under four and a half thousand pounds for the engine and all the work to actually put the machine right, uh, plus a clutch. Because I asked them, I said to the uh, fuses, I said, if the engine's out, if the clutch is more than half worn, just change the clutch for the sake of a couple hundred quid for a clutch kit do it when it's out so they did so it's it's a five and a half thousand pound bill plus with the VAT but as far as I'm concerned with this vehicle and the work it does for me and I love it it's it's worth doing doing the job so plus the other bonus is I've actually still got my old engine it's in Fuse's workshop at the minute because they haven't put some of the bits back on because they had to rob a few bits like the aircon and compressor um, they had to take off and so there's a few bits and bobs in the, um, in the workshop that need just bought him back on they've also borrowed a bit off of it um, for another project which they'll replace if it works so it was quite funny I went in there and um, the boss man said to the mechanic said uh, oh can you have his engine back he goes well I need to put it back together and I was about to pinch that bit off there something to do with the control on the turbo, I think it was. And uh, it was a case of, ah, right, well, we've been busted. <laughs> been busted then. He said, so, well, uh, and it was a case of, can we have that bit off there to see if it works on that one? And we'll put it back when we're done, or we'll replace it, one or the other. And it was a case of, yeah, of course you can. I don't, it's not like I need the other engine right now. Um, I have another motor mechanic friend who does most of our engineering. He's dead interested to find out what went wrong with my other engine um, so I think sometime in the next 12 months my old Puma 2.4 will be going over there we'll stick it on an engine stand we'll flip it upside down we'll whip the sump off and we'll have a look see what we can see if you spun on a shell because bearing in mind the engine didn't seize while I was driving I turned it off so I'm hoping touch wood I'm hoping that it seized as I turned it off. That the engine wasn't under load and it wasn't revving. It was like on tick over and I turned it off. So maybe we've got away without doing any catastrophic damage to the other engine and maybe we can rebuild that one. I think it's a case of if I can rebuild my old, old engine for less than a thousand pound, I'll do it because then I'll have two and a half thousand quid worth of engine I've either got a replacement if anything should go wrong with this or I can just sell the engine because it's a 2.4 and they're not that common so anyway that's a story for another day main thing is I've got my Land Rover back I've got loads of logs to do I've got a load of compost to do um, which is now going to have to wait till after the bank holiday because there's not enough time um, but yeah my workhorse is home Right, let's put a bag of logs on.
biscuit. What do you like? Hey, what do you like? Yes, I know. You be rolling it so that you stinker. No, I don't want you. Dirty. Nasty. Hey, do you remember it though? It's been a while, hasn't it? Right. That, that. So this is the light bulb that I went into fuses to buy in the first place because I got a bright light gone on here. And I went in and bought this light bulb and spoke to the boss and that's when I told him what a fantastic motor this had been and I rely on a bit of it being and never let me down and blah 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 and that's when it all went wrong. So did this 11 pound light bulb jinx me? I still haven't fitted it. So right job for later. In a minute. Right, well that made a hole in the pile. 24 bales gone. Off to Horton. <sighs> Thank you for your custom gentlemen. Right, I got a few jobs to do first and then I'll go and feed that half starved lot. Just because he's outside doesn't mean we stop giving him a bit of a extra help. Uh, All right, Mum. Yeah, I know what Mum wants. Mum wants that. Mum can wait. You don't get bullets for it up here. I know a few might frown on me giving them waste bread from the bakery but they genuinely love it it keeps them tame and sort of manageable and handleable and you no know, I haven't got to go chasing around after them because they'll come to me uh, just I don't really need a dog 
just need a loaf of bread. Ah. Or two small ones. What? No jumpy uppy. You've already got your mouth full, pig. Up here. It's up here. No, you've got a bit. Look up. Don't look up. Look, here. Come on, you. That's it. All gone. No more. Right. No, there's no more. Nope. I don't even like you. Nope. Nope. Get off. Right. Okay. That's that lot's all right. Right. Good night, you lot. I'll see you tomorrow. Plenty in there. Plenty of creep left in there. Takes them a while to get for their first bag. Once they're going for the first bag, then it starts going a bit quicker. Okay. Shut the birds in. They've had their first day of freedom. No, you've had it. You're not having any more. Nope. Empty. You're a sheep, go that way. Yeah, shut the birds in. Then, what's the time now? It is 22, eight. Oh, I've just about had enough for day. It's gone cold. I'm going to sit in my office and edit this for the next couple of hours.